Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on place value. Question 1. Give the place value of 4 in the number 3542. If you remember from previous lessons that we did in past years, this column is the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column and the thousands column. So the 4 is here, so the 4 is in the tens column. The place value is 4 times 10, which equals 40. Question 2. Give the place value of 8 in the number 3948. Since the 8 is in this column, the 8 is in the ones column. The place value is 8 times 1, and that equals 8. Question 3. Give the place value of 7 in the number 9742. The 7 is in this column. The 7 is in the hundreds column. The place value is 7 times 100, which is 700. Question 4. Give the place value of 6 in the number 6752. Since the 6 is in this column, the 6 is in the thousands column. The place value is 6 times 1,000, which is 6,000. Question 5. Describe the notation for each of the following whole numbers. The first one here is 56,432. Now you can see all these digits here. The above is written as an ordinary numeral. So that's how we describe it. It is an ordinary numeral. What about this? 4,607. Here we see words. So naturally, the above is written in words. What about 5 times 100 plus 3 times 10 plus 7 times 1? That looks like some type of expansion, doesn't it? So the above is written in expanded notation. So we've seen three different ways of writing numbers as an ordinary numeral, in words, or in expanded notation. Let's look at question 6 about the abacus. For the abacus, write each number as an ordinary numeral, in words, and in expanded notation. So here, in a similar fashion, we'll take that as the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column, and the thousands column. So here we have four red markers, so that's four in the thousands column. Here we have five, so that's five in the hundreds column. Three in the tens column, and two in the ones column. So the ordinary numeral is 4532, 4532. And in words, we just write the words, exactly as we said them here, 4532. And in expanded notation, just like we saw here, 4 times 1000, plus 5 times 100, plus 3 times 10, plus 2 times 1. Question 7. <coughs> Write the number for each of the following expanded notations. <coughs> so number A, we have 4 times 100 plus 6 times 10 plus 3 times 1. 4 times 100 is 400, 6 tens are 60, 3 ones are 3. When you add those together, 463. The next one. 7 times 1,000 plus 5 times 100 plus 8 times 10 plus 2 times 1. 7 times 1,000 is 7,000, 5 times 100 is 500, 8 times 10 is 80, and 2 times 1 is 2. 7,582. 6 times 1,000 plus 9 times 100 plus 5 times 1. So 6 times 1,000 is 6,000. 9 times 100 is 900. Now in the tens column we have the 0. So it's 0 times 10. But in the ones column we have a 5. 
so that's why it's five so it's six thousand nine hundred and five six thousand nine hundred and five two times a hundred plus six times one two times a hundred is two hundred we have a zero in the tens column and six times one is six so it's two hundred and six see the zero in the tens column three times a thousand plus five times one three times a thousand is three thousand we have a zero in the hundreds column a zero in the tens column and five ones are five so it's three thousand and five and finally seven times one thousand seven times one thousand is seven thousand there's a zero in the hundreds column a zero in the tens column a zero in the ones column so there we have it seven thousand so this video has given us a basic introduction to place value and we've seen three different ways of writing numbers.